Are you some kind of goblin? I'll throw you into prison! Prison? Doesn't matter where I am, if I'm like this. I'm just as alone as I was in the netherworld. It looks like the war between Ragnanival and Ringford is still going. I hear many have died. They say the Demon Lord's daughter is dead, too. The girl who worried for me. Halia. You should have taken my miserable life instead. What's wrong, long-eared one? Take a look and liven up my business. the king's recent domestic troubles, I'm having a sale. Am I hearing things? Someone called me Prince. But alas, I am no Prince. I am but a beast. I am Urza, the court magician. I am a sorcerer. I recognize the spell that has been put on you. Spells, spells, spells. All you spellcasters should be burned at the stake. Please, be rational, Prince. Tis my wish to help you, but my powers alone are insufficient to the task. The King pays no attention to my words. What do you want from me? If you care so much, resign. I have no response to your harsh words. But I have an ingenious plan. I thought I could share with you. Prince, do you know of Hindle, the dragon that lives atop the snow-capped mountain? Hindle? I have heard the name. They say he knows all and can see the future. A dragon that wise should know something about your curse. But to ask a dragon is a daunting task. Just meeting one is frightening. Please, forget my rambling. I should not have mentioned it. No. Let's go. Any hope is better than none. Even in the worst case, my hollow and empty life will come to an end.
I saw you in town. A troll chased you here, right? Why not buy a warming potion? You'll freeze without some.
Hey, I... Why not... Welcome to Mori's Touring Restaurant! Horn Mountain is always quite cold. I shall prepare a warming meal for you. I see you have a new recipe. Please, allow me. Now then, what do you want to order? Is there anything else you want to order? Is there anything else you want to order? I await your further patronage.
Restaurant. No building, no problem. Horn Mountain is always quite cold. Huh? A new recipe. 
Allow me to add it to the menu. Now then, what do you want to order? Is there anything else you want to order?
Aren't you the Puka who defeated Lord Brigan? What are King Odin's soldiers doing here? We patrol and survey these areas as well. Speaking of which, why are you even here? A dragon lives up here. <sighs> <laughs> you look like you might die up here. It'll be a bit expensive, but I'll sell you something if you want. Restaurant. No building, no problem. I am honored you have summoned me again. I see you have a new recipe. Please, allow me. Now then, what do you want to order? As you wish. Sorry for the wait. Will that be all? for the wait. your further patronage.
Knowing dragon, king of mind, feared by all. I ask you, Hindle, reveal yourself to me and answer my question. You will never find him, little Hindle seeker. Search the corners of the world and you will still fail to meet him! A dragon? You are not Hindel? My friend was clever, but also gullible. He ignored our warning about dealing with humans and met with an ignoble death. A dragon's scales can resist a thousand ordinary swords. But a sword made of jewels and crafted by the dwarves is another story. It pierced Hindle's chest and gave him the ultimate disgrace of death. This sword was given to me in the netherworld. I know nothing of Hindle's death. I am here to ask you which path my cursed soul should take. Silence, Dragon Slayer! Why do you hate us so? Snatching Belial's soul! Stealing eggs! Hindle! The sight of the nefarious sword you hold makes my blood boil with fury! Wait! I know nothing about that! Do not waste your breath pleading with me! I will tell you of your end. The King of Dragons! I, Wagner, will destroy you! The fires of hell shall obliterate you! Pray while you still can!
Magda. Where are you taking me? You had the chance to kill me with that evil sword, yet you did not take it. It humiliates me to be spared. But I sense your true nature. I cannot forgive those who use these weapons, nor those that create them. But just this once I will respond with compassion. Let me answer your question. So you will tell me about this curse? I believe you have heard about the obliteration of the Demon Lord's enemies. Your appearance is due to a curse that circulates in the remains of Valentine. The Princess's Kingdom. If Ingwe spoke the truth, then this all makes sense. Many survived the Cataclysm, but were turned into Pukas. I hear the Pukas have united and are working on how to break the curse. So I can return to normal? What must I do? I do not know. Look below you. The barren land below was once the capital of Valentine. The fairies now own this territory. It is a reason for war with the Demon Lord. The Pukas live underground. You should ask them directly. Now I owe you nothing, nameless Puka. My name is Cornelius. Thank you, Wagner. Do not be mistaken. My revenge is brewing, and I shall not forgive the one wielding that awful sword. Should we meet again, you should not take me lightly. Be careful. Hmm, how shall I proceed? How can I gain entrance to this town? Hey, there's another one! You there! Please stop! I don't recognize you. You shouldn't be wandering around like this. I am Cornelius of Titania. I seek the Puka village. Well, this is unusual. A Puka from another land. I am Meryl. How did you find this area? I have heard that your people are searching for a way to break the curse. Where did you hear of this? It's been kept a secret. But you are a Puka. If you assist us, I suppose I can help you. Let me help however I can. Can I trust you with a secret no one can know? I swear I will tell nobody. Very well, I shall tell you. No spell can return a puka to human form, except for one thing. That is, the magic coins created in the Kingdom of Valentine. If all the coins are found, one wish may be granted. Of course, our wish will be to break the curse on us. Collecting all the coins? How many coins are there? We have all been trying. But I really don't know. It is an enormous task to collect all the coins minted from an entire country. <gasps> oh no! We can't stand here chatting. There will be a battle soon. The Demon Lord and the Fairies will fight here. Please come with me. Our secret town is up ahead. <laughs> 